the 25th of May, 2008, Sunday, Memorial Day weekend, and I've just made a small upgrade to my simple solar charging system in that I picked up this lead-acid lawn and garden battery from Walmart for less than $20. Very good bargain. It says it's 275 cold cranking amps. It doesn't say how many amp hours. My guess is about 40. So there will be a lot more charging life out of it than what I'm accustomed to using the gel cells. Main thing is it's inexpensive, cheap, quick, easy to use. On top I have a 100 amp fuse left over from my more professional solar array just to help protect the system a little bit. And then lately I've been using Anderson power pole connectors which I think are just great and they're growing in popularity. And again, I don't own any stock or anything in Anderson. I just think these are quick, easy to use connectors and I recommend them. And I have them all over my system to kind of get rid of all the alligator clips and that sort of thing. On days when it's cloudy and I can't monitor the system as closely as I'd like to, I do use a charge controller sometimes or just a simple diode to keep the uh, batteries from discharging into the array. The main thing is things are still very simple. I get a lot of use out of this for my amateur low power um, radio station, QRP as it were.